Hello everybody, this is Mayan and I wanted to share with you some tutorials for the upcoming Halloween. So what you will need in making something like this is, well first you need gum paste. I normally use gum paste for uh, figures, faces, and um, generally figures it's always gum paste and for cake it's um, always fun and the cheapest way for me to get the gum paste is to buy from Wilton from your craft store turn it into gum paste by adding Tylos powder. Tylos powder looks like this now normally they're gonna ask you to add about a teaspoon per pound but it will really depend on uh, depend on you. So sometimes I really want to work faster, I just add more powder and they're going to dry faster. Okay, so you're going to need an orange ball and you just shape it into the kind of pumpkin that you want. So let's just make a normal looking one. And then you, I'm trying to see if we can see this, yeah, I try to do that. For example, you kind of squeeze in the top part and let me just take this out. There you go, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer so you can see. You can use a tool um, from Wilton. The one I used here is, you can use any tool, but the one I used for this one is from the Wilton set. And you're going to use the bigger part in making indentations from the bottom going up. And don't worry about kind of messing up the shape a little bit because right now we're just making like the guide the guide marks for where the smaller one is going to come in. So with the smaller one, make the indentations deeper. There you go. Again, if you're using gum paste, this will not stick. You know, you're not going to have the problem of uh, your tool sticking or the actual gum paste sticking too much on your work surface. If it sticks too much, then it needs more tylos. I mean, even at this point, I don't even dust my surface with a powdered sugar or cornstarch anymore, and it doesn't stick. All right, so. There you go. Um, you will, you may want to use brown gum paste just for the for the top part, for the stem part. And use a little bit of Tylos glue or edible glue for those who are just starting. Edible glue is made by mixing one part of Tylos powder, one part meaning one teaspoon, one tablespoon, um, in a ratio of one is to 30. So if it's one teaspoon of Tylos, it's 30 teaspoons of water. Put them in a container like this and shake it. Put it in the refrigerator for the whole night and the very next day, you're going to have clear glue. Okay, my hands are not dirty. These are just, when you work with gel colors, they sometimes just stick to you. Okay, there. Now, it's kind of looking like a, a pumpkin, kind of. But for depth, what I would suggest is you guys can get petal dust. So this one is um, from Sunflower Sugar Art. So I'm using just a combination of orange and yellow to me it just makes a whole uh, lot of difference you just kind of 
brush it where the grooves are and again um, if you're, you have like kids who can do this this is like an awesome way to bond with them and make the cake like a family project kind of all right so now you can see um, the color is now a bit deeper than when we started well, I hope you can see that it's gonna look a little bit darker than when we started and there you have it that is your pumpkin um, now the other things that you can do um, and I wish I could show this to you guys um, a little bit sooner I'm making a, a cauldron a tombstone a witch's hat which I will be airbrushing in a little bit a witch's broom now this when I when I made this I used just regular a regular um, it's not a popsicle stick it's a cookie stick that you could get from a craft store color it with edible um, markers so I used black and this one used to be white and I just used the same petal dusts and I used brown orange and yellows and there it looks like a dirty broom for the witch and I also made I'm not done with this yet but my my vision for the cake will look like um like there's a there's a gate at the very bottom of the cake so this is the like the pillars of that gate mm -hmm. I mean if everything turns out right I'm gonna use that and I'm also gonna spray paint this gate silver so that just gonna gives you guys some ideas on what to do um, I'm hoping I could show you the finished product for this one but for those guys who want to make a tombstone like this and make it look really distressed you just use vanilla extract and just a little bit of the black gel color and it's gonna come out like that so I hope you guys got some Halloween ideas and I will show you the finished product later. Thanks.